so in the last class uh, we were discussing about defugification methods okay and i have already discussed why uh, why we need defugification etc okay so so we will discuss four defugification methods those methods i had written in the last class so we will discuss one by one um, so first one was what maximum membership okay so the word maximum membership maximum membership this is the telling telling the method that means whatever whatever you have the maximum value of that membership function or degree that is your defugification point okay suppose i have and i had already discussed about how you aggregate in the last class suppose c1 and c2 are two fuzzy sets then how you write c1 union c2 etc so here suppose you have like this output okay of a fuzzy process so if suppose this is your z and this is your new c bar z membership function and after aggregating this is the your c bar okay now this method sells maximum membership principle that means here maximum is this so simply this is your z star this is your defugified value okay that means we can write this mu c bar z star greater than equal to mu c bar z for all z belongs to capital z okay whatever point so you are getting one single point from fuzzy you are getting one single point z star that is your defugified value by this method this is very simple suppose i have three fuzzy sets and you combine them and whatever maximum is there that point is your defugified value whole c bar yes only defugified i told now what do you understand by defugification i have fuzzy set as the output when you combine suppose 3 4 5 fuzzy sets you will get one output accumulating all those fuzzy sets so you will get some so suppose this is 2 okay so you get c bar so whatever maximum membership value for this point z star and this is its membership value okay so this is by this method maximum membership principle so we'll take the examples then it will be more clear so next one was what centroid method centroid sometimes the previous method also called height method height method because we are seeing the maximum height okay last method that maximum membership method or principle that is also called height method centroid method here we find z star like this integration of mu c bar z into z dz divided by integration of mu c bar z this is centroid type center of a okay mu c bar z z dz into z dz by mu c bar z dz so suppose i have now this type of again so maybe center is here it depends we will see some example this is uh, they are doing practically this method only okay sometimes this method or the next method that is also very easy so here suppose we get the z star single value we want single value for our action from the fuzzy set output for this set we want the single value single value is your, and this integration is your algebraic integration that you know i have to find the integration okay over whole area that you will do and this is into z dz this is membership value at z dz okay next method is your weighted average method weighted average method 
here we have z star as summation of mu c bar z bar into z bar divided by summation of mu c bar z bar what is this z bar see i wrote in the previous two methods z only here i have changed the variable z bar okay and this is also called uh, sometimes uh, mu c bar yeah it's okay sorry this this is actually valid for symmetric symmetric membership function symmetric membership function this is the condition for this method weighted average method otherwise you will not use that because you see how you so this z bar is actually what where this z bar is center or centroid of each of the membership function centroid of each of the symmetric membership function because otherwise how will you find this centroid it is easier to find if it is symmetric so suppose i have like this this is your z this is mu okay i have this is one fuzzy set this is another fuzzy set so i want after combination of this what is your weighted average suppose this membership value is 0.7 okay and this suppose it is your 1 this is subnormal this is normal because its height is 1 this height is 0.7 so how will you find then z star what will be z star and suppose this is your a this is your b center center okay so how will you find z star this is very easy z star will be a into 0.7 a into 0.7 plus b into 1 divided by 0.7 plus 1 very simple understood mu c bar z into z bar z bar by summation mu c bar z bar z bar is the center of each fuzzy set each fuzzy set i wrote na centroid of each of the symmetric membership function membership function is this na for this fuzzy set so this is the center a b a into this membership value b into this membership value divided by those membership value addition okay so again you are getting one point defugified well so this was your third but it's not obvious you have to find out not obvious but depending upon your fuzzy set obvious means what these values you will get na you will have otherwise how will you plot midpoint 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 and connect that that is your membership value na and this is the midpoint okay so next one is what mean max last one is your mean max method this is actually called middle of maxima middle of maxima you understanding then what should be its value defugified value so if i have like this the output okay middle of maximum so suppose this is a this is b simply z star is a plus b by 2 okay so these four methods are very simple okay, there are other methods plenty of other methods are there to defugify the output of a fuzzy system okay so let us now take one example and see how we are getting the result so first example suppose we have three fuzzy sets b1 b2 b3 so i have this one two 
this is your first fuzzy set z1 okay whose height is 0.3 this is trapezoidal set next z2 suppose i starts two from here this is your z2 whose height is 0.5 starting from 3 to 7 and what is its score 4 to 6 hmm support 3 to 7 now i have z3 okay so i have three fuzzy sets z1 z2 and z3 okay i first aggregate this okay and then we will use start from centroid method then the other two or three methods whatever is there okay so i have to now combine this okay now you see if i want to combine this is suppose 1 this is 0.5 this is 0.3 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 seven, eight. I have up to 8 okay now first one is from 0 to 5 so point 3 1 and 4 it is core okay 1 to 4 this going to 5 this is your first second is 3 to 7 and 4 to 6 is core 4 to 6 and this will connect like this up to here and this so up to here you are getting like this from here to here to here and up to here and let us see the last one last one is from 5 to 8 5 to 8 so 5 to 8 6 and 7 6 and 7 so this is your core and from here to 5 5 and from here to 8 so i can remove this or i can join by dot okay so i have the now this as the area okay now i want to use centroid method centroid method and you already know centroid method is integration mu c bar z z dz by integration of mu c bar z dz okay so first of all i have to find the equations of these all lines and then integrate so let me do at least 2 3 then you can do so i have to erase this okay so let us name this suppose o a b c d e f for oa for oa so i have the equation as what very simple mu is equal to 0.3z and it will go from 0 to 1 means your integration limit is from 0 to 1 understood 0 to 1 then for ab ab it is only mu is equal to 0.3 and the limit will be from 1 to not 3 suppose it is 3.6 3.4 whatever it depends okay you understanding it is 1 to let us suppose 3.6 or 3.4 
it depends if you are doing exactly in the graph paper etc then it will come okay 1 2 3.6 now bc for bc how do you find that see the coordinate of b it is 10 class b coordinate is 3.6 0.3 to C, C is your 4 and 0.5, you can find the equation, you can find the equation, no problem and this is from, this is from, from it is from B to C, so it is from 3.6 to 4, like that, now B C, C D will be what, mu is equal to 0.5, it will go from 4 to 5.5 maybe, no, 5.5 or 5.4, okay, 5.5, D will be accordingly, D coordinate you have, E coordinate you have, you can find D, okay, then E F mu is equal to 1, okay, E and F you know, what are the values, 6 to 7 or not, F to G, Again, you have f coordinate, g coordinate, and it is from 7 to 8. So, you will get all these equations, okay, and these are the limits. So, what will be z star then? z star will be summation of all those integrations from 0 to 1, 0 0.3 z into z. In the numerator, you have mu c bar z into z, dz, or not? Plus integration of 1 to 3.6, 0 0.3 into z dz plus whatever mu equal to here you will get equation. You can find very one y minus y dash is equal to y 2 minus y 1 by x 2 minus 1, x 1 into x minus x, that tenth formula. So, plus other integration up to here it will take little bit time okay and divided by this with all removed z okay so this will be 0 to 1.3 z dz this z will not be there plus 1 to 3.6 0 0.3 dz z will not be there plus other terms so after finding the integration for numerator and denominator divide that you will get a single number or not, because all are with respect to z, so integration some value you will get, some value here you will get, divide that, you will get some number that is your d fuzzified value for this, these three fuzzy sets, okay. Centroid method, here it is simple, but you need to do all these integrations and all, okay. So, right. So, let us now do the uh, third method that is your weighted average method, weighted average method and I told that that is valid for symmetric for these, uh, membership functions. So, here all these are symmetric or not, see if I break here at 2.5 it is mirror image, okay. So, all these are symmetric, so I can have directly this was your centroid method, the next one is weighted by weighted average method, weighted average method. There we have the formula z star is equal to mu into z by mu. So, now for the first one, it is middle point is 2.5, no, it is ok, 2.5 into 0.3 plus here it was from 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, 5 is middle, 5 is middle, 5 into 0.5 plus here 5, 6, 7, 8, so 6.5, okay, 6.5 into 1 divided by what? 0 0.3 plus 0 0.5 plus 1. It is easier than the centroid method, fast. 
So, people are actually used to practically also they use this because it is easier to calculate for symmetric membership function. Okay? Right? Point 3, very, very easy. Now, the last one is easiest. Last one was what? Mean, mean, max method. Mean, max method. So, max is this. 6 plus 7 by 2 only ok. So, j d star is 6 plus 7 by 2 ok right. So, in this way you can defugify the fuzzy system after you apply the fuzzy system means input out input and then you get output in terms of fuzzy and you can find the one value that you want for your action.